meal ready to eat. Stop. Crap, Ainsley. This time we have menu 13 cheese tortellini vegetarian. This was Cole's choice. Okay, hold on a second. Though. No. No, we're restarting this. You know why? Because it's my choice. I was going to take it and say it. Hey guys, it's Eli and Cole. We're back with another MRE meal ready to eat. This time, Mr. Hansy. Okay, go ahead. It's cheese tortellini, vegetarian menu 13. He chose this one. I did choose this one. I chose the last one. Yeah, well, I was just interested. Like, what does a vegetarian one taste like? Hmm, now who's Hansy? Okay, we're gonna open it and we're gonna eat it. Obviously. Well, that one opened easier than the last one. Yeah. Okay. Nice little pack there. Alrighty. So strong, buddy. I know. They tell me that all the time. Ooh, the ladies. Oh. Okay, we got a seasoning blend salt free. I don't like that. Onions, garlic, spices, carrot, orange peel, bunch of other crap. Cooking bag, water bag. Why don't you go ahead and start filling that to the appropriate whatever while I go through this with them? Ooh, raspberry beverage instead. Ooh, hot coffee. Is this is it coffee? Yeah. Oh, we don't actually... M&M's! On brand. On brand. And nutritious energy bar chocolate. We got double chocolate. Ooh, that's a lot of chocolate. Oh, we got spiced cider, guys. Ooh. Spiced cider with marshmallow... No, mints. Never mind. You're gone. I thought it was like marshmallows. I was like, we don't put marshmallows in here. Whatever. We got a little napkin... We've got some salt, since that's salt-free seasoning. Got a moist palette, chiclets, little gums. Uh, this says add a quarter canteen, six ounces. That's more than six that's ounces. That's way more than six. That's like a lot of ounces. But that's like 14 ounces. Yeah. Um, we this have... one couldn't remember how we are supposed to open. We have a pack of crackers. It's just this crackers. I don't know. Uh, chunky peanut butter. Chicka That's chicka. funny, because last time we were discussing how we'd much better... Yeah, you had you had mentioned that last time, the peanut butter. It doesn't... It says chunky peanut butter, but I feel no chunks. Uh, well, there's... Yeah, there's a couple little tiny... It's fine chunky. Chunks. Yeah, fine chunky. Uh, this chunky. is apple pieces and spiced sauce. There's a lot of sweet things in this. Apple... Yeah, and the last one had no sweet things. Yeah. Um, and this one, I guess, must be the... Yeah. Cheese tortellini and tomato sauce. Tomato. Mm-hmm. We're fancy. Oh, and our MRE so US weird. issued government spoon. We brought a fork so that we don't have to share it from, but I get the spoon. Wow, you're a special boy. I'm a special boy. The specialist of boys. Okay. Don't pour the water in there yet, you open it, idiot. You don't ever call me that again. Please don't do that. Well maybe you should. Stop having an attitude, Cole. I wouldn't have an attitude if you were smarter. That's not true. Why did you take it out? Are you just take it out and put the water in? No, you leave this in there and you slide the food in there. Act like you've never done ten of these before. We've done one. Yeah. And last time we said it would be easier yeah, to just, put it in afterwards. Just let me handle this. Here, I'll put them in together. Now, this time we're going to put the water... Get the air out of there so we can slide it in there really easily. Oof. Did you tear the bag when you did this? No. Okay. Now let's roll that sucker up. And just stick it right in there. Maybe. Maybe that's not how you're supposed to do it. Somebody told me it was, but it's not going to go in there that much. No. So. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah. That's good. Okay, so now we fold it. And we slide it. We're going to assume the instructions are the same as last time. The box is crushed. Come on, U.S. government. Support our troops. Okay, we're going to sit it on an incline down here. Too much of an ink holding. Can you go ahead and make that? Yeah. We're going to go ahead and start on the rest of the stuff. Beverage we... base, raspberry, sugar free. This is the, the sliced apples, spiced apples. I'm really excited to have a different drink this time. 
may want to not be so excited out of there. It doesn't say anything about cooking it on here, so we're just going to go for it. Okay. Doesn't look good, but you know, it wasn't. You weren't supposed to. It didn't have any instructions on it for this heating. Or like, so, so, so this has a uh, crust in it. It looks like so. It's like a apple crisp. Okay. This doesn't smell good. This smells like. Yeah, see it. Apple crisp. This raspberry stuff smells like that foam they put oh. in your mouth at the hospital, the dentist to clean your mouth. Yeah, out. and it's not breaking down very well. No. It's getting really foamy. Yeah. We got. I'm gonna open the cracker. We're trying to make this video a little shorter this time. Yeah, a little shorter than a half an hour. But um, I will open. We'll take whatever amount of time that chocolate it flavor flavored nutrition bar. Okay, so it's like a power bar. Yeah. Yes. Okay, we got two crackers. It's one each because there's two of us. Okay. This is for the peanut butter, I guess, and they broke. There's your cracker, part of your cracker. Here is the nutrition bar. Um, it just kind of looks like a chocolate bar, but kind of yeah. stale. Yeah, like like it. You know what it looks like? It looks like it's when you leave a candy bar in the car and it melts. Yeah, and then you like reshape it. Like yeah, when you take it out, it's all yeah, yeah. reshaped like that. Okay, there's your cracker. We've got crumbs everywhere now. Thank you, brother. Okay. All right, and what, oh, the peanut butter. Yeah. Save the M&Ms for last. I think we already know what the M&Ms are going to taste like. You never know. We didn't bring a knife for spreading. No. But we should also note that they do not provide a knife for spreading. This says army men have knives, idiot. All I'm going to say... Is that that is a very similar color to the cheese last time. Yeah. It's definitely crunchy. Smells fine. Yeah. It smells like your average peanut butter. Um, it's like all desserts. We got a chocolate bar, we've got apple crisp, we got peanut butter, we got M&M's. So I guess we'll just eat dessert before we eat our main entree. Yeah. Whoa. Only has like a spice to it. Not like spicy, spicy, but you know. I don't care for it. It would be better warm. But I think we learned last time that that heater is not going to work. Yeah. Long term. Oh, we turn the baby. Man, it's all over the sides. It's so gross looking. We need to put it at the bottom before we put the water in next time. Yeah. Doesn't taste that bad. I like that. Yeah. Hard day out in the field. In the field. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the army field. Yeah. Or whatever. Whatever it's called. The military field. Mm -hmm. The field of battle. Field of war. Split that in half. Mm. Or rip it in half. You have to be a real strong army man to tear that in half. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Got to be a real strong army man to bite through it, too. Yeah. It's kind of like a chocolate rice crispy treat. Like a stale chocolate rice crispy treat. Mm -hmm. Covered in wax. Mm-hmm. Everything's covered in wax. Mm. Mm. It would take you a minute to get through that. It would. Mmm. Okay. Tastes like a matzo cracker. Yeah. That would be more saltinish. Good luck with your fork there, buddy. Mm hmm. I mean, if I'm in the field of, of wars, battles, mm -hmm. and I have this, I feel like I'm sitting in my living room at home eating my peanut butter. Not enough peanut butter. No. You'd have to make it into like a sandwich. Yeah, not enough peanut butter for this much cracker. Ratio is not right. Yeah. But. But it does taste. The cracker's not stale. No. It's nice and cr crunchy and crispy. And. and uh, the peanut butter is nice and creamy and it's flavorful. It's not creamy, but yeah. It's crunchy. Well, it's creamy and crunchy, idiot. <laughs> Sorry. A little scary, though. 
There might be a little peanut butter in here, buddy. The peanut butter in this, this in the apple does not make it better. Mmm, so not good. It's so mushy. And not in like an apple way. Right. That's good. You didn't put much water in there, so I think it made it sweeter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it is pretty sweet. We've never tried M&M's before. No. Can you tell? I will say that it would have been better if they were peanut m &Ms. But a little taste of home. A little taste, a little taste of America. Same time, brother. Wow. They're old m &Ms. You can taste that they're old. Because the chocolate has separated. Yeah, I don't know, that's the wrong word. It gets crumbly inside. Yeah. When they get old, they get crumbly. And these are old. But, we're M&M's. I'm sure if I'm out in the middle of like the desert or wherever I am in the military, mm -hmm. I wouldn't really care. Yeah, I'd just be happy to have some M&M's. Yeah. Now, the apple stuff, because I'm a material person, I would just be like, let's scoop that onto the ground. Really? Let's give this to the That's hyenas. Really nice. The desert hyenas? <laughs> the desert hyenas. Isn't that where they live? No, they live in like a savannah. I thought you were into wildlife, cool. Apparently not not that kind of wildlife. Mm -hmm. Let's feel how we're coming on this thing. Ooh, that's it's warm. Yeah, it is. You know what I'm gonna do this time? Because last time, remember, it was like mm -hmm. kind of cold in parts. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of. I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but I'm gonna push it around. Yeah, the top is ice cold. Maybe we're doing something wrong, because the bottom is straight up hot. I wonder if you could reverse this, probably. Does this one not have matches? Oh, you're right, no matches. Hmm. Man, that smells so bad. What does? The like chemicals in there mm. smell really bad. Don't waste. Don't be a waster, Cole. The taste of church communion. Is it? Mm hmm. What's communion taste like? Communion? It tastes like stale crackers. They let you have real wine? Depends on the church, brother. Not at the church I went to. They did not give you real wine, they gave you fake wine, and it just tasted like cheap grape juice. Mm. So if this was grape flavored, Start reading the Bible. Mm -hmm. No. Although I've heard those stories where the guy has like his Bible in his shirt thing mm -hmm. and he's in the army and they get shot and the Bible stops the bullet. But then I watched a, I don't know if it was Mythbusters or something like it, and they tested it like even ricochets would go through those. You'd have to, if you had a real Bible, but like a little, Gideon, like what are they, Gideon Bibles? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, they would, it would have to be like a bounce off of a ground or something, you know, like a double ricochet to stop it. Yeah. So, miracle. Yeah. Proven. That would be crazy, though. Imagine if you, like, go back for the day, and there's a bullet stuck in your Bible, and you're like, whoa. But don't they wear, like, every military guy I've seen in action is always wearing a bulletproof vest under, like, it's this, like, puffed out gear. Yeah. I guess I don't know it's a bulletproof vest, but they're always really puffed out. It looks so, like they're wearing one. Yeah, so I was like, well, wouldn't the bulletproof vest stop the bullet? Like, the Bible doesn't need to. I saw one where But now they don't ruin the bulletproof vest because the Bible stopped it. It's true. Saving um, the military money. Thank you, Jesus. I also saw one where a guy had his AA... Uh, Alcoholics Anonymous coin in his pocket and it hit that and it had a dent in it where the bullet hit it like through his pants or shirt or whatever mm -hmm. but it must have bounced off I feel like that would still hurt yeah well they say getting shot with a bulletproof vest hurts a lot too yeah why are you opening that it's the seasoning I'm getting ready mm -hmm. 
Last time we almost forgot the seasoning. Yeah, we actually tried eating it without the yeah. seasoning. Yeah, okay, that didn't open it, so. Why are they making it? Oh, what the heck? Oh, there's plastic inside. The Double fresh. Day. Double fresh. Intense. You know what? It smells like the garlic. No, I ain't waiting. I'm getting right into this. Okay. I feel like it's it's loose now, mm -hmm. and we don't care if it's hot, you know? Like, how often do you think those guys don't even bother heating it? They just... True. It doesn't really need heated. I mean, yeah, it does. it's not cooking the food. Yeah. It's just making it more palatable. Yeah. What? Or the bag is what? Nope. <laughs> that didn't work. Ugh. I got marinari sauce all over my scissors. Let's get Colson tortellinis. Is tortellini like a ravioli? Is that the idea? Mm, I think it's similar, yeah. But it's shaped differently. I don't really know what the... Other than the shape... Are I they filled? Yeah. I'm gonna kind of mix mix it in. So it's not just powder sitting on top. Is it terrible? I don't like that face. It's not, not making me uh, excited to try this. Well, I can tell you one thing, brother. Yeah. It tastes nothing like cheese. It tastes like chemically chemically po pasta sauce. You could save one cracker for this. Yeah. Because like chemically pasta sauce mixed with gluten in noodle. What's gluten taste like on its own? I don't know. We I have no idea. That's why they had this one at the store. That's why. It's not good. When Cole picked this one out, the lady was like, Yeah, I finally got rid of one of the cheese tortellinis. Probably. We left and they're like, fools. She probably was like, oh, dang, they're never going to come by one again. Yeah. What's inside? I feel like whoever does the MREs, whoever, like, makes them, mm -hmm. are the same people that make the, that doesn't look like cheese. That's not cheese or meat. That's like, I don't know what that is. It's supposed to be cheese. It's like chalk. Yeah. There's, like, chalk inside of it, guys. Um. But anyway, the same people who make these, I feel like, are the same people who make... Like the diet, like the new, which I know you've never tried Nutrisystem. Mm -hmm. But if you've tried yeah, Nutrisystem you and you know what it tastes like, it tastes like this. Mm. Good for little guy. Good for big guy. This one I think was like really old because this gum is not. It's the same as my gum last time where it was all like uh, falling apart in my mouth. It wasn't this bad for me last time. Mm. Mmm. <laughs> okay, well. Now we know. I feel like this one was worse than the last one. Overall. Definitely. The peanut butter, great. Like, not enough of it, but great. This bar, the thing with this bar is, is, like, you're not in a hurry, you know? Yeah. You can hold that. Yeah, and it's in its own pack. You mm -hmm. can take it with you for a snack later. Mm -hmm. Kind of like last time, the combos. Mm -hmm. You just take it with you. I don't understand why the last one had no sweetness. It was all salty. Mm -hmm. And this one is all sweet except for the tortellini. Yeah. I don't really understand. It's not like it like goes with it. Yeah. yeah. The apples weren't that bad to me. They weren't great, but they weren't terrible. It's I mean, it tasted them. like congealed applesauce. Yeah, it does. And you I hate applesauce. I hate applesauce. It, I like applesauce, and so that kind of reminds me of applesauce that wasn't Made right. But it has wasn't spice sauced. It. it wasn't sauced, yeah. So overall, I would say first one better. Mm. There's good parts of this one. The peanut butter, the bar, bar the M&M's. The crackers. The crackers. Everything was good, really. Even the apples, to me, were good if you like applesauce. Mm -hmm. But the this this tortellini stuff is just nonsense. Yeah. Bad texture, bad flavor. The whole thing is just... 
I don't know if it's just like they were like, we need a vegetarian option. I guess, but it, surely this can't be the only vegetarian yeah. option. No, I'm sure there's other vegetarian options. Yeah. I liked the drinks better. Yeah, I definitely like the drinks better. All right. Well, that's our review of menu 13, cheese tortellini vegetarian. Yeah, don't If you have a choice, it. don't buy that one. Buy don't meatballs. Buy that one. Buy the meatballs. Don't buy either of them if you don't have to. Well, yeah, there's no reason to eat these if you don't have to. True. But if you're camping. But if you're like a doomsday prepper, and you're like, I'm going to get some MREs to doomsday prep with. It's also convenient for camping, because you can just pack yeah. each meal, and you're, like, if you're camping for a couple days, you can just pack meals. Like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, yeah. It's not just for the military. Or doomsday preppers. Or doomsday preppers. But they are good for doomsday preppers. But if you are a doomsday prepper, or you're a camper. Stay away from stay cheese Stay away from cheese trolling. I would also say stay away from meatball. I didn't, well, that's the thing, is I didn't like the meatball one very much either, but... We've only I haven't tried, tried two. those two. So We've only tried two. If those are the only two options, choose meatball. Yes. Every time. No, 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 not every time because you want all the candy and stuff. You want the candy, just skip the main. Yeah. Buy this one just for all the dessert because it's all dessert. Yeah. Okay. Open them both up and switch them up. Thanks for watching. Thanks.